As children, welcome to PCEA Baraka Church. We are streaming live. Uh, this is our church school service. Uh, this is PCA Baraka Church. This is a church where everybody is somebody. Uh, we want to hear from the Lord this morning. We are here again. My name is Teacher Lea. Hi, Teacher Jane. Uh, we welcome you. Please uh, feel at the feet of Jesus. We want to share the word of God together. And I hope that the Lord will bless us. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, you are humbled for the presence this morning, O Lord, with a lot of thanksgivings in our hearts for who you are in our lives, O God. Surely, Father Lord, we've seen you in our lives. We've seen you walking with us in every aspect and in every sphere of our lives, Jehovah Lord. We give you praise, we give you honor, glory, and adoration, Father Lord, because they are all yours, Father Lord. Thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of one another, the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, O God, the gift of salvation, the gift of good health, sober minds, Father Lord and the forgiveness of sins, O God. We acknowledge your presence in our lives, O God. As we start this service, Father Lord, we pray that you may be with us, O God. Our young ones, wherever they are, Father Lord, we present them and you. We pray that, Father Lord, you may be with them, that you may guide them, that you may hide them under their wings where the enemies cannot see them, O God. I pray that, Father Lord, you will continue enabling us to raise a godly generation for your own glory, Jehovah. We give you praise, we give you honor. Father Lord, the things that we've done contrary against your will, be through our words, our actions, and even our thoughts, Jehovah. I pray that, Father Lord, you may cleanse us from all our iniquities, O God, even as you offer this sacrifice unto you, that you shall, uh, you shall accept it, O God, as a living sacrifice unto you, O God. We pray that you may be with us for the rest of this service, O God. We commit ourselves for the rest of the day, O God. Continue being with us, continue helping us to overcome this pandemic for the honor and glory of your holy name. For this, we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. So, children, today we are happy to have you yet again. And do you love dancing? Yes, we do. Even today we are having our dances. And uh, prepare, get your dancing shoes, and get ready. Parents, kindly join us too. One thing on my mind Make a roll all these 
baby. Moji and Jabi, they will drop this a heavy. In cross the party, in cross the rave. Fuck you, Lisa. I show in cross my jibamba cabiza. Tell them that you gamba kwa jiza. When you think of Bawa, he has done for me. Then blessings coming. Bawa. So na shukuru niko sawa, so mi na vimbada. Na mpasifa kama kawa, so mi na vimbada. Are you happy? I'm happy. Yes, uh, I know the Lord is happy too. Uh, there's nothing more that we can give to God apart from our praises, our dances. He feeds on our praises. And so I'm very happy because I know God is also happy with us. So today we are going to see what you did, children, those who did the assignment and those who submitted. So, to start with, this is uh, Raquel Wamboy Kemani. She's five years old. That is the burning bush. Kudos, Raquel. Uh -huh, the other one. This is Daniela Gadoni Kemani. Uh, well done, Daniela. Good job. This is Valeria Modoni. Val, this is awesome. Kudos. Uh, Ryan Disho. Rayo, this is awesome. Good. Uh, this is Zach. Zach Ndongo, brother to Whitney. Kudos. This is Gabriela Kemani, 10 years, uh, narrating the, the story of Moses. Kudos, Gabriela. We have Alice Whitney. Whitney, well done, well done. We have Lloyd Ndisho. Lloyd, kudos. This is Adriel Wangoi. Kudos, Koi. Super. We have, uh, this is Steve. Steve Moravi, well done. We have Musa Kamau Mwaora. He's only four. Good. This is good job. We have Nancy Wangoi, six years. Well done. Ian Boro, Ian. Uh, good job. Uh, that is all we had. Thank you so much for doing your assignment and for submitting it. That is well done. You deserve a clap. Well done. So today we are listening from the Lord through Chajen. We hope that the Lord will speak through her. And we pray that the Lord will use you as his noble vessel and will speak of his oracles to us. So children, we are learning and let us uh, listen and receive from above. Welcome to Chad Jane. Thank you. Thank you, Chandler. Concerning the previous work, concerning the assignment that we just submitted, we're still continuing with that Bible-based story, the story of Moses and the burning bush. But our theme today will be obedience. Can you say obedience? Obedience. Can you say obedience? Obedience. Yes. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. From that book of Exodus chapter 3, from verse 6 to 10, we learn that the Bible says that after God was talking to Moses, he told him that he was supposed to go and deliver the Israelites from Egypt. We learn that Egypt is the place whereby the Israelites were being persecuted. They were doing heavy job there. God is telling Moses to go and deliver them. Even today, children, God is coming to deliver us because God delivered us from all situations. God wanted to deliver the Israelites from the land of Egypt. He told Moses that he wanted to take them to a land flowing honey and milk. Have you ever tasted honey? 
Oh yes. How does it taste? It's so sweet. What about milk? Mm -hmm. Do you love milk? Yeah. yeah. That land that God was wanted to take them, it was flowing milk and honey. Some, uh, something that is flowing, it shows that it's in large amount. God is taking the Israelites to a place whereby there is large amount of milk and also large amount of honey. And we all know that we love honey and we love milk. So this, is, uh, this shows us that even the Israelites, do you think they loved honey? Yes, I think so. What about milk? Mm -hmm. So, and then God is also telling Moses that he is taking them to a good and a large land. This means that wherever they were in Egypt, that land was not good. It was not good for them. Because he also said that he's taking them to a large land. Uh, what is the opposite of the word large? Small and tiny. Small and tiny. This means that even Egypt was a small land. So God is taking them to a large and a good land. A land whereby uh, milk and honey is flowing. From that story, we learn that God is also taking us from the situation that we are in to something good, to something large. He is also taking us to a flowing land, a flowing land with honey and milk. And milk. So, children, after that, God is also t telling Moses, take them out. Then Moses was asking God, whom will I tell the people you are? Shalea, what do you think God told Moses? I am whom I am. I am whom I am. So Moses was told, go tell the Israelite elders that I am whom I am has sent you here. And when Moses went there, what did, they, what did Moses say? I am has sent me to you. I am has sent me to you. So, uh, children, you're also supposed to obey God. You see, Moses obeyed God. And God is calling us, and when God calls us to do his task, when God calls us to do his job, we are supposed to obey him. We can also take example of David. When God called David, David was taking care of his father's flock. David obeyed. When God called Samuel, when Samuel was in the tabernacle, also Samuel obeyed. So whenever God is calling us, you are supposed to obey. Uh huh. And with me today, I have a poem about obeying. Do you love poems? Yes. Do you like poems? Yes. Do you enjoy saying poems? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, I'll teach you the poem. I say it, we say it together, and then you say it by yourself. Obey, obey, obey. Obey your parents. Obey your teachers. Obey the word of God. But why? Because this is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. obey, 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 obey. Obey your parents. parents. Obey your teachers. Obey the word of God. But why? Because this is the right thing to do. Okay. Can we say now together? Obey, obey, obey. Obey your teachers, obey your parents, obey the word of God. But why? Because this is the right thing to do. Okay, we are being told to obey. Again, Shalea, I have a neighbor friend. This child wanted to go out to play with his friends. But the parent told that child not to go out because this is not the right, time, uh, the right time for them to go out and play. Now, the parent gave the child the phone so the child was to talk to uh, his friend using a phone. What else can you do to your friends? At this time that we can't go and visit them, maybe you don't have enough air time to call each and every friend, I think you, you can pray for them. You can pray for them? Mm. 
Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We have a song on praying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pray for me. I I'll pray, pray for you. Please, please, please pray for me and I'll pray for you. Uh -huh. Sing it again. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Please, please, please pray for me and I'll pray for you. Our memory verse today comes from the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 1. We say together. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Well, honor your father and mother, which, which is, is the first commandment with a promise. That it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. We ain't there. So, that is our memory verse today. It's about obedience. It also goes hard in hard with what you've learned today. So, for those who are eight years and below, you see the memory verse. You say it more and more time. That is your assignment today. For ages nine and above, you continue with the story of Moses and the burning bush up to where we've reached today. And then coming next Sunday, we shall review. And with us today, we have one of the church elders who is also a patron, church school patron, and he will pray for us. Hello children and parents who are watching from home. Praise God. Praise God again. Uh, we thank God because you are tuning in. As we pray, let us remember that we need to obey because that is a commandment that God is telling us that we should obey our parents and those that are our elders. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for the gift of our children. We thank you, dear Lord, and because of this period that we've had our children at home. We do not take it for granted, dear Lord, and we say thank you because children are a gift from you. Father, dear Lord, as we take care of them, even as they are at home, dear Lord, we pray that you will help them, dear Lord, to be obedient, dear Lord. That you help them, dear Lord, that even as they are told what to do and what not to do, dear Lord, they will obey and they will follow the instructions, O oh Lord. And Father, we pray that even as parents, you will help us to take care of our children and to bring them up in your ways, O oh dear Lord. Father, we thank you for this morning. Father, we remember our country, even at this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, dear Lord. And we pray, Father, that we protect our children. That, dear Lord, as our children are at home, as they play, dear Lord, as they learn, dear Lord, at home, we pray, Father, that you're going to protect them and to bless them. We give you praise this day, dear Lord. And we pray, Father, that even according to their needs, dear Lord, that you will provide, dear Lord. Father, we thank you for the parents them that are at home, dear Lord, and them that are suffering and don't have food, dear Lord, we pray, Father, that you may provide, for there is no one like you. Father, we give you praise and we thank you for this day. As we, as we think, continue, dear Lord, with our learning, dear Lord, at home, we, Father, we commit ourselves to you that you may give us understanding. For this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Elder Kamunga. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Thank you, Teacher Jen, for sharing the word of God with us. Children, we've come to the end of our church school service, but I hope you've learned. You've learned that you are supposed to obey your parents, your teachers, your aunties at home, uh, even the church elders, your siblings, whether young or old. 
you must obey them because this is a command from God. Uh, we've also learned from the Bible that verse that we've read that you are not supposed to despise yourself because you can see Moses was somehow reluctant. He didn't want to go, but God assured him of his presence where he told him, I will go with you and I'll be with you. So even this time of pandemic, this time of corona, God is still with us because we've not had any case from us and from you. We still know that God is going to protect us and to keep us safe. Uh, until next Sunday, bye, have a blessed week, and the Lord, uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.